Hey guys, welcome back to Explore Electronics. In this video, let's see the second model question paper, model question paper 2 for the subject 8051 microcontroller. In the previous video, I have given the complete solution to the model question paper 1. So in this video, let us see the other model question paper and let's see the solutions for that. So at my left, I have model question paper 1 and right side of the screen, you can see model question paper 2. So let us compare quickly these two and let us get to know which are all the very important questions. Later we can see the solutions. So bring out the difference between microprocessor microcontroller is asked here. Here also in the second model paper you can see microcontroller and microprocessor difference. This is the very important first question. And architectural features of 8051 is asked. Here also architectural feature of 8051 is asked. This is a very very important question for 8 to 10 marks. Here it is asked for 8 marks. This is for 10 marks. And with the diagram, explain the internal memory structure is asked here. Here interfacing of 4K RAM and ROM is asked. Here also you can see the interfacing of RAM and ROM for the 8051 microcontroller. Here 8K and 8K uh, RAM and ROM is asked. Here 4K and 8K is asked. That is the difference. So this is also a very important question. If you know the uh, interfacing with respect to the different RAM and ROM sizes, so you can easily uh, answer this question. This is a very important question. And pin diagram is asked here, pin layout of 8051 microcontroller and define microcontroller, mention its applications is asked. So this is also very important question. And from module 1, you can easily expect one difference question, one architectural diagram or uh, block diagram and an interfacing of memory kind of question you can ask, you can get. From the second module, addressing modes is very, very important. So this question you can see it is repeated here and one assembly level program um, can be expected here. So you can get these questions from your uh, practicals point of view or lab part questions you can study. Assembly level program to multiply 16 bit number with 8 bit number. Here assembly level program to convert BCD to ASCII is asked. Here packet BCD to ASCII is repeated here. So this is again an important question. And also you can see addition of 16 bit numbers and uh, uh, store it in uh, these registers is asked. So addition, multiplication, BCD to ASCII conversion are very very important. Here also packet B BCD to uh, binary to BCD is asked. So only these questions even if you study it will be uh, one or two questions you may get in exam. So then coming to the next question you can see jump instruction is asked here. Bit level logical instructions is asked. Here also you can see rotate instructions are asked and also they have given some instructions and you need to say how many uh, bytes it takes. So this is from module 2. You can easily score from module 2 also if you learn the program, uh, if you learn the assembly level program writing. Then coming to module 3, mode 2 operation of the timer is asked here. Here also TCON, TMOD is asked. Here TMOD, TCON you can see. So TMOD, TCON are very very important and also you can see uh, RS232 standard 9 dB connector is asked here. Here um, how timers are programmed in mode 1 is asked. Here mode 2 operation is asked. And then SCON is asked here. So TCON, SCON, TMOD registers are very very important from the uh, theory point of view. And also you can see here write an assembly level program to transfer multi byte uh, data serially. Means serial data transfer one question will be there. Here also serial data transfer. Yes, serially we need to transfer with 9600 baud rate is asked. So this kind of here also the same question is asked. So this question will also be very very important. And again RS232 is asked here. You can see RS232 standard is there. So if you study model paper 1 itself, many questions are repeated in model paper 2. So refer to the model paper 1 solutions which I have given and also please listen to the explanation given there. It will be helpful to write the answers in your examination and then coming to module 4 module 4 structure of inter priority and inter enable register so ie and ip register this is also very very important here you can see again uh, ie register is asked so this is the easily you can expect this question in exam also and then steps involved in executing an interrupt how to control the interrupt and how multiple interrupts are handled and then interrupt vector table is also very important and then steps involved in programming serial communication interrupt are the questions from this model paper. Coming to here, 
how inter priority can be changed using IP register is asked. Uh, and then explain how programming of external hardware interrupt is done using 8051 microcontroller. So you need to explain about the programming using hardware interrupts and programming of timer interrupts is asked. And then uh, explain the bit contents of IE register that is again uh, interrupt enable register. And then here one C program is asked to uh, using interrupt to generate a square, square wave uh, using this port uh, of 1 kilohertz using timer 0 in mode 2. So this is a C program and then you can see here explain programming of serial communication interrupt is asked. So the interrupt question you can expect like uh, interrupt priority and interrupt enable register is important and then comes to here serial communication interrupt is asked and uh, yeah external hardware interrupt question is asked. So these are the important questions from module 4. Coming to module 5. With neat diagram, explain the assembly language program to interface stepper motor. This is very, very important again. Stepper motor, DC motor is very, very important interfacing. You will, you may ask to write LCD also. So, but stepper motor is very, very important. Uh, it is repeatedly asked. Uh, it is a sure question we can say. And here also you can see LCD uh, display question is asked. Here also LCD display question is asked. And DC motor, stepper motor, both are there in module model paper one. And here uh, they have asked to write the assembly language program to interface ADC uh, with a 8051 microcontroller. Again, say, uh, interfacing with stepper motor is repeated here. So from module five, if you uh, check important questions, so stepper motor and then LCD and as well as DAC here asked here ADC is asked. So you can easily expect stepper motor or DAC or LCD display or uh, mm, here you can see staircase waveform they have asked using DAC here ADC is asked. So like this you can see very very important questions from each modules by only looking at these two model papers and many of the questions are repeated from module paper model paper 1 to model paper 2. So only those questions sufficient for uh, passing the subject I can say. Uh, but you need to score well here why because it is a easy subject you can easily score and solution to the model question paper 2 that pdf is given in the description of this video you can see that uh, link and you can download the pdf it is prepared by some professor of uh, some institute so that it will be helpful for your preparation so go through that link and download the second uh, model paper solutions thank you